Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another update video about the blackjack I've been working on. Now it's a game of blackjack obviously that you can use with a computer craft program. It has betting, it has cards and everything and I finally finished it. Now there's some features I still want to add like a ending screen and some more animations and everything and improve the logo. But apart from that so far the actual game works and we are going to take a look and I'll also show you how to set it up it's really easy to set up so I'll just show you the game first we're gonna go blackjack slash game to run it and we have our little disk here which is named something for you can set up your own program for working out how you want to store the balance like if it's diamonds or stuff but I just have it on a floppy disk for now. Uh, we're gonna bet a hundred dollars and it's just like normal blackjack. We can hit and we went bust obviously. Uh, we can play again. Uh, we can go double as well and we lost again. See I put in one and I lost two because it was a double. Uh, we bit 10 can obviously stand and we lost because the dealer had more than us uh, let's put that back in uh, let's see if we can get an ace now there is oh gotta stand and we won so you can you can win at this game it just for the, all those casino owners who want to use it the maths involved in this means that you are always going to make a profit off it as the casino because based on what they're betting and their chance of winning you're always going to make a profit so just keep that in mind for when using it but yeah that's the blackjack I've added it so you can it even has logic for aces so you don't have to worry about complicated stuff with aces and things like doubling um, and getting 21 on the first go, or the dealer getting 21 in, his, in their first two cards, which is an instant one. I've worried about all that, but we're going to look at, we're going to have a look at the game. So in here, there's the API. Don't really want to mess with that. The card, if you edit, this is what the back of the card looks like. You can see it there that's added later so if you want to change this or anything then that's good uh, edit this is what, oh, paint card back this is also what the back of the card looks like this is also the logo that gets displayed up there if you change the logo you are going to have to figure out the new location for the so that it looks centered but apart from that you should be pretty good um pin pad api you don't want to mess with that either but cards if you if you want to add if you want there to be four decks instead of um, one, I don't know, for some reason, I'll work on having the decks transferred over in the future between games, but if you want to do that, you can add in here, be a bit complicated, so do that later, um, I'll talk about how to have the deck transferred in another one so that count ca card counting and stuff like that would work, whereas, e whereas in this normally, it gets shuffled every single game you play, but now let's look at the main game you have the coordinates here these are where the cards would go so if there's only one card it would be there two cards it gives you it gives you the x coordinates for depending on how many if there's one two three four five or six cards so you can edit those um, we have the new stuff here for for working out the total if they have an ace um, we'll 
go down here I will next I'm going to start working on quality of life things so everything's just easier um, the code shorter and everything so that you can set it up easier but if you want to change where the disk drive is you can change it here and then you would also need to change it down um, here so this is don't know why that's in there gotta fix that this is why this is where it all happened so it just does all its stuff and right here is the ha where the actual game happens so what you do is you just it will give you whether you won or lost and how much you bet and then you just go run game and you need to insert the balance which you will have gotten from the disk drive or whatever and then based on that you can just work out where they won or lost and what you want to do so that's basic outline for if you want to edit it um, you think about it uh, if you I'll show you how to set it up properly so we're gonna go over here uh, just gonna break this now you would place your put that up there. you would place your disk drive your advanced computer on the top it has to be advanced to work with an advanced monitor uh, you go one two three four five one two three four five fill that in you can change the coordinates just you can change the size of the screen you just say I'm gonna have to go on and change all the coordinates of stuff so they look in the right place and now you want to take your floppy disk you go on here you go label set bottom and we're just gonna set it balance of ten thousand dollars now we are going to go delete uh, going to delete that file so now there is no, nothing now we're going to go paste bin and then we want to go run no, that's the paste bin link we want to go here and you want this auto run program it's on my paste bin and we just want to do this command right here So to make it really easy it does everything for you you just type that command and it has downloaded everything we need now you can use it straight out the bat you bet your life savings away and I just made almost a thousand dollars it's that easy to set it up and I hope you enjoyed this. I am going to be making more updates in the future. Uh, if you have any bugs, to just put them in the comments. And if you want any other features or if there's any other rules I've missed and things like that, comment down below as well. But that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on more get I'll be I'm going to be doing more card games and other games in the future like roulette and poker so don't forget so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that but I will see you next time